Qatar says it trusts Elon Musk's leadership at Twitter following a tumultuous takeover. The deputy mayor of Paris ignites fire amid a major stadium dispute with PSG. Doha condemns a deadly bombing targeting churchgoers in Congo. And finally, the World Cup fever is not over just yet. Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. Qatar says it trusts Elon Musk's vision for social media giant Twitter. The comments were made by the chief of the Qatar Investment Authority, which has a stake in the social media company. QIA invested $375 million in Musk's acquisition of Twitter last year, contributing to the total amount of $44 billion. The comments come as Musk continues to face criticism in the aftermath of the Twitter takeover, making messy decisions that have sparked outrage worldwide. A top Paris official has hit out at Qatar and amid an ongoing spat between football giants Paris Saint-Germain and the French capital. The dispute is over the sale of the landmark stadium in the French capital, which the city council has refused to sell to the club. Deputy of the city council David Belliard pointed towards the Gulf state in particular, saying, quote, the Parc des Princes does not belong to Qatar. It follows similar comments by the mayor last week that PSG has described as surprising and disappointing. Check out our website for more. Qatar has stepped in to condemn a bombing that struck a church in the Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo. At least 17 people were killed and dozens more were injured in the attack during Sunday's service. In a statement, Qatar's Ministry of Foreign Affairs said it rejects violence and terrorism as well as attacks targeting religious places of worship. The bombing was claimed by the Allied Democratic Forces, a local affiliate of the Islamic State group. And finally, FIFA has announced that football fans from Qatar have emerged among a list of top ticket buyers for the upcoming FIFA Women's World Cup 2023. The tournament is set to take place in two countries for the very first time, with Australia and New Zealand co-hosting the event in July and August. Fans from over 120 nations have purchased more than 500,000 tickets, with Qatar fans being among the top five. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.